Welcome to part three of our Global Block series. We're discussing what domains are covered and not covered by Global Block in this session. The global domain name space is vast and can be very complex. To understand what domain name zones are able to be blocked by the Global Block service, let's start by quickly looking at the entire domain name space. At the highest level, the domain name space can be organized into a few distinct baskets. Legacy generic TLDs are the original 21 domain extensions that are considered generic because they do not belong to any particular country based on two-digit country ISO codes. There are a few dozen sub or second level extensions. Legacy generic domains include .com, .net, .org, and so on. Country code domains, also referred to as CCTLDs, consist of the 200 or so country code domain extensions, which follow the ISO 3166 country code standard, as well as their respective sub-extensions. For example, there is .uk and .co.uk, .org.uk, .ltd.uk, and so on. Some countries like China have dozens of sub-extensions beyond just .cn. Not only are there 200 country code top-level domains, but over a thousand more when you count the sub-extensions. At our count, there are 1,284 options for country codes. Next are new GTLDs. At last count, there are 592 domain extensions that have been made available to the public starting in 2013. A new round will begin in 2026 and will include hundreds more. Finally, there are Web3 or blockchain domains. These are relatively new and highly unregulated. There is expected to be a proliferation of these names in existence as we move forward. The number of options are unknown and unpredictable. All in all, Global Block is able to block your term in over 30% of these available options. Global Block, as it stands at this time, covers about 600 domain extensions across these groups and expects to end up covering between 7 to 800 extensions by year end. If a company were to register a single name or trademark across all of these domain zones, it would cost upwards of $30,000 a year just for one term. You can see the blocking coverage in the table. GTLDs, the top level and the second level, 33% are covered by Global Block. New GTLDs, 65% are covered by Global Block. Country codes, about 15% are currently covered. Web3 and blockchain domains. One of the largest players in this new space, Unstoppable Domains, is covered. Out of the gate, the domain zone coverage looks very impressive, and the BSA has communicated that they are actively in discussions and partnering with more registries and will continue to do so as the service evolves and expands. It's important to note that as new registries and domain extensions are added, prices for the Global Block service will increase accordingly. But prices will not change for your subscription midterm, whether you have signed one, two, or three year terms. Remember that both Global Block services include premium names, unblocking names, and priority auto catch. Additionally, Global Block Plus includes unlimited blocking of your primary term or main label, as well as standard variants if you have spaces, hyphens, or ampersands in your term. It also includes blocking of confusing and lookalike characters. It's important to know that if you are a current owner of a DPML Plus, you are also given blocking of exact matches for your additional labels at no additional cost, which is a huge consideration. It's helpful to understand how labels work in the Global Block service. We go more into detail on this in part two, but here's another brief overview. Using Bank of America as an example, your main label would be Bank of America without any spaces. Your main label variants would include Bank Dash of Dash America, Bank Dash of America or Bank of Dash America. A valuable added benefit for existing DPML Plus block holders is that you also get the blocking of the exact match of your additional labels. Additional labels from your DPML Plus accommodate plurals, specific misspellings, or trademark contains terms. For Bank of America, these could have been Banks of America or Bank of Americas. Already owning a DPML Plus with additional labels is the only way that these can be covered with Global Block. This is strictly a grandfathering feature. What is not covered by the Global Block service? Not covered by either Global Block service are already registered domain names. When registered domains expire, they will automatically be pulled into your Global Block service through the Priority Auto Catch feature. Domain names already reserved by the registry are not covered, which typically include geographical or culturally sensitive names. Domains covered under Adult Block are not covered. These include .XXX, .sex, .porn, and .adult. 
yet to be launched TLDs are not covered unless specifically defined within the global block service, which is the case with Google Registry who have agreed to automatically block domains and domain extensions they plan to launch in the future. Which do you choose, global block or global block plus? The easiest way to remember the difference between the two is that the standard global block service only blocks your exact match term or label. There are two distinct features that global block plus offers that global block does not. Unlimited blocking of main labels blocking of homoglyph confusable characters. If you have an existing DPML or DPML plus, you should generally go with the same version in global block. Thank you for watching. We hope this was helpful to you. Give your account executive a call or reach out to us at corporate at 101domain.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have and place your order. Continue watching our videos for more information about global block.